Stretch those arms up and overhead and float the arms forward and down. Let's just heat up our breath. Inhale as you float the arms up and exhale as you float the arms forward and down. As you do this move, take a big breath in without lifting the rib cage. Squeeze those legs straight. Scoop and float the arms around and down to your sides like wings. Now inhale as the arms float up, exhale as they float down. Stretch through the back of the neck. Keep your big breath going. Stretch up and overhead into squirm stretching now. Going side to side. Side to side squirm. Only where it feels good for your shoulders. If you want to go here, sometimes that squirm stretch feels better than being all the way overhead. Big breath in. Stretch the right leg into your chest. Scoop and curl up. Try to go forehead to knee. Head in that direction at least. And then rolling that ankle. If you want to grip for your foot, you can get a little more stretch on that. Big breath in. Now let the right leg turn out and you'll see you're in your figure four. Nice figure four stretch. We're gonna warm up for our crawling lizard stretch later, which is this stretch just turned over. Tuck that right leg in, bring that head, neck and shoulders back to the mat. Then we're gonna kick that right leg up and back. Go ahead and bend that left leg as you work this up and back now kick it up stay up climb up that leg like you're climbing a tree now flex and point roll that ankle Ooh, it feels good in my arch and tuck the leg into the easy figure four push on that right hip pull on the right ankle and step the leg down let's switch it here Going to bring that left leg up, hug it in, right leg long and straight, and scoop and curl up. Head it all the way in, rolling the ankles if you want, extending for the foot if you want to pull it in nice and tight. Big breath in. And bring the head, neck, and shoulders down as you turn to let the leg turn out. Now be easy on your knee if you got a meniscus or an ACL or something. Protect your knee by hugging that leg in. But you can add some torque by pulling in with your on your foot. All right, slide up, kicking up, hurdler stretch. Excuse me, up kicks. Up, kick up, do a little flex point, climb up that leg. Try sliding that right leg straight as you do it. Big breath and tuck in, figure four. Easy four. Now pushing on your hip to open it up. This is a great one for that piriformis and the TFL, it's a hip flexor. Quite as popular as the psoas. And bring the leg in, step it down. All right, let's finish up our twisting warm up, with our warm up uh, stretches with twisting, twisting the hips. Easy does it here. I'm not going for excessive range of motion. <clears throat> Just getting loosened up before we get com get compact with our mat Pilates. And last hip twist to the center. Now stay in this bent leg position, feet are flat. Step them together so you're squeezing your legs together on your midline. Now let's start our imprint and release. Flex the low back, scoop the abs in, release it. 
Exhale, scoop the abs in, flex the low back, tuck the pelvis and release it. If you've been going with us on the videos, see how deep you can start creating your scoop. Excavate your scoop. Make it such a deep, fulfilling feeling of drawing the abs in. Scoop them in nice and deep. Squeeze the legs in on your midline. Squeezing the inner thighs. Now imprint and pump. Now Pilates bridging is the epitome of Pilates mat exercise. And the reason is because you're creating your co-contraction and it's easy to feel it. Here's your two muscle groups that are co-contracting. Your abs and your glutes. Abs and glutes. Another way to think of co-contracting is tug of war. So you're in a bridge and your abs and glutes are playing tug of war for control of your pelvis and your spine. See if you can just feel a little tug of war. So you're not arching your back, first of all. There's no arching. It is a spine flexion. So you got to get up under it. You got to scoop and pump. Feel those co-contractions. Really lighten up the hamstrings. And three, two, one. And roll it down. Right leg straight, straight leg raise. All right, now we got stability in the low back. Neutral. Stack. And snap that leg up and forward. Feel the stability in your pelvis and your rib cage. Just hands just like mine, you can feel those bony checkpoints. Now stay up there and pump the leg, sledgehammer. If you want a little more oomph on this, climb up towards that sledgehammer. Deek, deek. Try to tap that toe. Deek, deek. <laughs> Three, two, one, and tuck it in. March that right leg down and just march both legs out. All right, right leg down, left leg long and straight, straight leg raise. Now choose how you want to wave your ankle with this move. You can flex it up, point it down. You can point it up, flex it down. You can point it the whole time. You can flex it the whole time. All of those ankle and foot positions, your thigh still stays completely straight and sledgehammer. If you want to curl up, go up towards your toe. Hammer through that wall. Three, two, one, and tuck head, neck, and shoulders back and march the legs. Whoo! Boy, my thighs are getting so much stronger. My hamstrings are getting so much more flexible on this mat. <laughs> Thigh stronger equals more, more flexible hamstrings. Now step the legs up to tabletop, one, two. Now continue that marching, So we call this tap step. Now as you do this move, it's more complex and you need to hold more stability in the core. Brace the abs as you do the movement. And as one leg moves, the other one does not. Same move, now curl up, stay up. Oh, it's hard to hold the right leg still while the left leg moves. Ha! Ha! Two. Last one, now both legs go. Now keep your core stability. That's the difference between Pilates and boot camp. Same movement, but different focus. Don't care how many reps you do. Don't care how big the legs move. It can be the tiniest move ever, just holding still. Create your neutral stability and keep it. And last one. Whoo, got that sweat going. Tuck it in. Big breath, let those legs splay out to the side. Twist out your hips. 
twist out your head and neck. We got genie stretch next. Gonna put those feet flat together. Curl up and grip the feet. Pull on it. Now genie stretch is awesome to create leverage within yourself. And you can put some traction onto your neck and your back of your shoulders. You're gonna bring the hands through. Ha, through. Get yourself set up and then pull with your arms. This stuff is hard for strong postured people to do. Flex your body into a small bundle. Scoop your abs in deep. Ugh. Then keep holding your feet as you stack your head, neck, and shoulders back on the mat. Oh, stacking and turning. Three, two, one and step the legs down one two slide them long and straight three four and extend the arms overhead we got ultimate back stretch next gonna bring the right leg in and twist yourself all the way over to the left once you're there Start to explore your low back. Here's your adjustment time if you want to make yourself chiropractic adjustment. Put that hand on the back of that sacrum and click. Give it a little click. Don't ram into an adjustment and you don't necessarily have to hear anything. But you can feel the bones adjust as you create that communication with them. Now you're going to untwist. Untwist the legs. Turn the right arm up and back to the right. Back stroke. This creates your counter twist, your counter stretch to the hips. As you extend that right leg out, you're now at the fullest length of the spiraling chain. Turn your head neck back to the right. Get you a big deep breath, explore that chain, and close it back up. Sweep the leg in, unwind, full body stretch. Ultimate back stretch, left leg, hug it in, and twist over to the right. Explore that back stretch, but don't overdo it. Especially if your back, it feels too loose. SI joint pain, slip discs. Be careful on this, guys. You wanna explore it if you're feeling tight, but everybody explore it with a scoop. Keep your scoop. Now we're gonna head into the counter stretch, back stroke. Up and back, extending out through the head, neck, and shoulder to the left. Big, big breath. And rewind your stretch. Untwist. Unwind a full body. And we're headed into full roll-ups now. We got a lot of length in our back. Let's keep adding on that. We're gonna exhale, scoop, flex, curl yourself upwards and forwards, stretching in front. Then roll yourself back. Slide those hands back down. Big inhale, exhale, scoop, flex, curl upwards. Forward stretching, pulse into your stretch. As you roll back, you're not crunching back, you're lengthening backwards. Lengthen, climb backwards. Oh, ground those legs down. Two more full rollies up. Stretch it. 
roll it back. Last one. Up. Stretch. <clears throat> and roll back. All right, we got a studio favorite here. We're in half um, micro curls. Now roll it. Roll halfway back. Stay halfway back and just pulse yourself right there. Remember, you are not leaning backwards. Your spine is in flexion here, not extension. So roll back. You're on your tailbone now. If it doesn't feel good on your tailbone, grab a pillow. Put it under that tailbone. Now roll back a little further. A little further. Now a little bit further. I can't talk during this one. Whew. A little further, 10 seconds left. And three, two, one. Roll it all the way back. Whew, good set of micro curls, y'all. We're gonna turn along onto your side. You'll be facing your screen. And we're gonna start our side leg series here, lifting and lowering. If you have a pillow, you can go ahead and slide that guy between your ankles for these first four moves. It really can help you create a more um, connected inner thighs. All right, last one up. Hold up and circle the legs. Now, as you do the movements, remember, keep your mouse hole underneath your side. Keep your scoop, keep your stack and change direction on your circles. Now the last one on this first series, we're gonna lift up Malibu style, up and hold. Now hold yourself there, tuck the legs in and extend the legs back. Now as you do this movement, it might not feel good on your hip bone, that's fine. You can go ahead and turn and do a little modified B all right, but the move calls for being right on that hip bone. Extending and tucking in. <sighs> Extend long. Feel that expansive stretch through the hips. Last one. And tuck in on your side. Telescope three times on telescopes. Flex in front. Extend, twisting open and away. Big breath in and close that telescope all the way up. Keep the shoulder low as you twist around, extending. And the legs can turn with you. The legs don't need to resist the twist too much. Legs go ahead and turn to help your back and shoulder stretch properly. Extending and twisting, wind the stretch up. Now three pinwheels. We started these yesterday. Turn out and around. You're gonna watch your hand as you bring your arm around in a big pinwheeling circle. But what we're really doing is we're setting spine and shoulder harmony. Feel your spine and neck turn. Then the shoulder turns. We call that the spine setting the table for the shoulder. Spine turns, neck turns, and then the shoulder and arm come around super connected three times the other way. Now we're going around. Spine, neck, turn. If you have a range of motion limitation, i.e. impingement in your shoulder, only go where you can Track your arm with your spine. Last one. Up and around. And continue long on your side. All right, y'all. Next set's lifted up, all Malibu style. Now, do a few lifts and lowers. Not dropping this rib cage now. It's asking for a little bit more. Now, lift your top leg as high as you can keep your stability. Now just pull your bottom leg up into it. It is hard to make this move graceful. Oh, 
pull with that inner thigh, pull. Now pull and hold, keep those legs held together. Now just lift and lower the top leg. Keep the bottom leg up. And the last one on this side is top leg high kick. You're gonna turn onto your glute. Keep the legs straight out and up just a little bit. And now kick that top leg up and then pull it forward. If you wanna extend up to high fifth, try to get up. Climb up out of your near shoulder. Keep that bottom leg stable. Oh, my body's moving a lot. Mm -hmm. Two. Last. And up and hold. Get a grip on that toe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Climb up to that toe. Bend it, kick it. Wah. Bend it, kick it. Wah. Bend it, kick it. Wah. Maybe you're gripping your Achilles or your calf here. Last one. Get it. Ah, long and onto your stomach. All right, y'all, a few swans just to clear things out. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Make sure you're a swan, you're lifting that pelvis high up off the mat. I gotta scoop. <laughs> there we go, scoop, Matthew. Ooh, last swan. Up and back to shell, stretch. We're gonna mermaid, turn towards your screen. On the inhale, side bend and exhale, press up and over. All right, we're gonna be running that whole series back. Gonna lift into your long mermaid and press up, over and twist down. Let's turn and we're gonna start that next series with mermaids going the other way. Turn the legs the other way. <laughs> Inhale over. <sighs> Exhale up and over. <sighs> Straighten that top leg, lift high, expand, extend, untwist, and press up. Turn to your shin, grip it, and pull. Right here, you got a little closed chain time. You can pull in for some traction along the back of the neck and the shoulder. We don't do a lot of closed chain stretching, but if it's comfortable to Z sit, usually it's comfortable to do this. Okay, guys, let's turn, get ourselves set up for side leg series. We're almost done with our mat Pilates. And if you have a foam roller today, you get a little bonus time. We're gonna do some foam rolling for our last 15 or 20 minutes. Gonna lift and lower. Keeping those core connections. Keeping your mouse hole nice and long with the legs. And lift and hold. Now, double leg circles. Ooh, I found a light switch that was off in my left hip. <laughs> hey, if you feel a muscle is turned off, now is the time to turn it on. Micro movements are so important for stability. They're good for everybody, every single body. From people just trying to get more stable and be more active and move around well, all the way up to professional athletes. All right, and last one there. Now, you're gonna lift up, Malibu style. Lift and hold, tuck the legs in. And extend out. Now, this move's all about length. So as you lengthen the legs, also lengthen your spine. Extend, long. Inhale, extend, exhale, tuck. Last one. Inhale, extend, exhale, tuck in to telescope stretch. All right, telescope stretch, love this one. We're gonna twist away. 
and twist back in. Telescope stretch and pinwheel or pre Pilates. Spine and shoulder harmony. Graceful movements from the shoulder and arm. Spine tells the arm where it can go. And pinwheels. Keep the shoulder down. Keep the shoulder down as you sweep the arm down low, past your hip, around and over in a big old pinwheeling circle. Keep the shoulder down the entire time. Open. Ah, around, try to spread that palm and five fingers out wide. Last one, pinwheel. Change direction, go the other way. Around and open. Remember your spine and neck go first, then the shoulder follows a split second behind. Dr. Feldenkrais would say your eyeballs go first. Eyeballs go first. And last one. Up and open. And close back up. Alrighty, y'all. Last one in side leg series today. Now we're lifted up, Malibu style. Lift and lower those legs a few times. Feel where you can. Feel where you can hold them stable. Now lift the top leg a few times. Oh, my obliques are so lit. <laughs> now hold that top leg. Now just lift that bottom leg and just kiss it. Kiss it. Try not to roll too far back. I mean, that's okay, but ideally you're right on your side seam like you've got some Adidas pants on and you're right on your three stripes. And five. Four, three, two, hold the bottom leg. Top leg lifts and lowers now. Oh, bottom leg stays up. Now you also keep lifting up. Don't shrink into your effort here, Matthew. <laughs> and two, one, and turn, high kick, last one. Ah, it's almost a relief to get off that sideline. High kick, up, up, arm to high fifth is nice. Getting your body energy up. And three, and two. Last one, up, stay up. Make a nice connection with that big toe. Hey, guy. Tuck it, kick it, tuck it, kick it, tuck it, kick it. Big breath in, and tuck it in, and back down on your side. Woo. Let's finish with some stretches and then we'll move right on into foam rollers. If you've got a foam roller, I'll give you a minute to get yours. We're going to go up to swan, hips back to heels, stretch back into shell. Shell stretch, stay active in flexion, pushing. Shell stretch is a great time to practice your scoop. Scoop, oh, scoop those abs in. Cat stretch, extending and flexing. Get your hands firm on your mat, flip your feet under, pike the hips up, pike, and prance the legs. Blast offs, bend the knees deeply, press them. Hey, as you do blast offs, keep your chin tucked down deep between your shoulders. Keep your shoulders down. And big breath in. Blast off down to kneeling. From that kneeling position, just turn that head and neck, uh, topple that head and neck from side to side and roll it out. Up and around. Hands on those thighs and twist your shoulders. Little dancer stretch right here. Uh, 
and waggle them out. Hey, you did great today. Stay with me for foam rollers. Um, we'll start.